Every month the Holy Father has two intentions that he asks the whole church to pray for. One is a general intention, the other is a missionary intention. And the general intention for January 2012 is that the victims of natural disasters may receive the spiritual and material comfort they need to rebuild their lives. Columbans are no strangers to natural disasters. In the 1930s, when Columban priests and sisters worked in China, they had to deal with the situation where millions of people were affected by long-term floods in that country. And they had to try to protect especially women and children and provide them with food. And they did a wonderful job under very difficult circumstances. Here in the Philippines, we are used to natural disasters, occasional earthquakes, and more frequently, typhoons. And the most recent tropical storm was Sendong, or Washi, to give it its international name, that hit two cities that had never been hit before by a typhoon or a storm of that kind, Cagayan de Oro and Iligan City. Both places are very familiar to Columbans because we had parishes in those cities and in the provinces in which they are located for many, many years, and still have one parish in Agusan, Peggy and Dior, the parish of the Holy Rosary. And maybe up to 3,000 people lost their lives just a week before Christmas, when tropical storm Sendong traveled in a path that storms had never traveled in before. And many, many people were swept out to sea, many homes were destroyed, and many others had to evacuate their homes and flee for safety. And the Columban parish in Gagey and the Oro took in 25 displaced families and have been taking care of them. Some Columban visitors, including two of our seminarians from China, were involved in that work. And just last night I received a text message from a friend of mine who lives in Lano del Norte whom I've known for many, many years, and whose father was murdered when he was a small child. And he texted me to tell me that his daughter and her family had been caught in the storm and the floods in Iligan City, but they managed to get up on the roof of their house and were saved, and are now at home with their parents, with the wife's parents. And he mentioned that they were taking care, especially of the children, so that they would forget the trauma. And I texted him to say, uh, the mercy of God that they were saved. And he texted me back a very striking message in English. He said, yes, God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. And not for the first time, I've been struck by the marvelous resilience of Filipinos in the face of disasters of any kind, whether they are natural disasters or disasters caused by war. And I believe that this resilience is based in faith. And I pray that those who have been directly affected by the recent storm, and I believe that they are already experiencing the fruits of the prayer of many, the prayer that the Holy Father has suggested to us for the month of January, that the victims of natural disasters may receive the spiritual and material comfort they need to rebuild their lives. And to repeat again the message of my friend, the father of the daughter and the grandfather of the children who were saved from death in Iligan City, yes, God is good all the time. All the time, God is good.